How's it going, everyone? You're watching a Wi-Fi battle video by me, Trainer Connor. Okay, so we have a passerby battle this time versus Joseph. You see that we're bringing some very unconventional things. This will be called a mixed gear match. All right, so I wasn't really sure what my opponent was going to bring first. So I decided to bring my Gedene first. And here I see Electrifier. Now, Electrifier can run different sets, but I wanted to be sure if it's a special attacking set with Volt Switch. But no, he has physical moves. And he just goes straight for the Earthquake and just abolishes my mini. So that's very unfortunate. I'm sorry, Gagene. I wanted to use him a lot, but no, I misplayed him right off the bat in this battle. Alright, well, that sucks. We're going to bring in my Mega Pokemon on the next turn here, Mega Agon. And with my filter, I'm okay with whatever move he wants to go for. He goes for a cross chop and misses. That kind of makes up for the again I screw up in the beginning there but I'm, I'm not really sure why he went for a cross chop when he has earthquake but that's neither here nor there I go for a head smash and I go for an iron head just in case he wanted to switch out and preserve his electivire for later but no he just stays in I'm okay with that now he has his machamp go for a dynamic punch I know instantly that this is a no guard set which the ability no guard is the ability where moves like dynamic punch which has a low accuracy rate for all raised to 100 accuracy and that's that's just kind of dangerous there i guess but we're going to revenge kill with my boss the honch crow which i got from ruins way so shout outs to ruins way there thank you buddy um we are going to have a battle here soon on my channel because we have a few matches and you know he's he's good at battling but anyways back in the match i wanted to see what dragon knight is going to do here he goes for a thunder punch and gets a crit i'm really happy i went for roost because roost will lose their flying typing so now my heart scroll is a dark type now uh i don't know if that makes sense but i'm really surprised that he didn't have the uh multi scale because if he had multi scale then he would have lived that hit very surprising there i'm happy about that too not gonna lie <laughs> but anyways um and K comes in, I expected him to go for an extreme speed or a stone edge. So here I just go for a sucker punch at plus one or two. I'm not really sure. I think it's plus two from the moxie. And we're going to get a little bit of damage there. Well, actually a lot of damage because that was a stab move and it almost took out NK without, you know, any critical hits. So anyways, um... I expected him to probably switch out into Snorlax, but I wanted to be safe with the NK in. NK is a legendary Pokemon, of course, so I just wanted to play it safe here. He does have, a, I believe, Body Slam, or I was actually expecting him to go for a Curse. So I went into Stevo, the Ivysaur, holding the Eviolite in this battle, but he goes for a Body Slam instead of going for a Curse. If he had cursed, he would have used it, right? Right? I don't know. But fortunately, I don't get paralyzed because that's a good, there's a good chance of paralyzation on that move. Body slam. But here I go for a leech seed. But he smashes my Stevo, the Ivy Sword, to pieces with that Giga Impact. I did not expect that at all. So. Now he has to recharge for a turn. What I decided to do is bring in Ursaring. Now Ursaring has the ability in Quick Feet in this battle. Although I wish I had Guts. But that's neither here nor there. Now the reason I went for a Protect instead of outright attacking him is to make sure I have Quick Feet active. Although I was actually... Let me, let me just say this right now. I really admit that I totally forgot about my Ursaring having quick feet because I thought I had guts but no I have quick feet because based on how well he took that I know it's not guts 
by any means. Anyway, so all that aside, Earth Rain goes down, unfortunately. But fortunately for me, I let him use Giga Impact again, which means he has to recharge for another turn. This will give me the opportunity to get some free damage and basically knock out his small ass for free. I would probably go for a body slam, but that wouldn't take out the earth ring, I would say. So, you know, that's a coin toss up there. I think he just wanted to go for a giga impact to ensure the KO on my earth ring. Anyway, so we're going to pretty much just go for the surf again. The leech seed is still active from what my Ivy Sword put on earlier in the match. It's coming to huge play here because I am a life orb melodic who also has recover. And if I am losing HP every turn, I must recover at some point, right? So here he goes for bite. I was actually expecting him to go for a extreme speed, but he has bite instead. I'm not really sure why he has bite. But you know, he's probably new to battling, it looks like. I'm not gonna call him on that. But anyways, he has his last Pokemon be melodic. And he has Hydro Pump. I wanted to recover just because of how much HP I have. And then on the next turn, my opponent flees. Now, I would agree on that because here I am prepared to stall him out with the recover and everything so in reality I would probably it would probably be a 50-50 coin flip there and whoever wins the battle but you know what we forfeited so we'll say that everyone deserves a win so if you guys enjoy that upload be sure to like and subscribe to see some more wi-fi battles in the future omega ruby alpha sapphire is quickly approaching mega excited all right you guys have a great weekend i'll see you guys again on wednesday bye now